Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of On the Range Podcast. Wherever you are, thank you for making this part of your day. I am Mark Kelly from Kelly Defense, and joined, as always, my co-host and friend, Rick Hogg from Warhog Tactical. How's it going, buddy? Man, it's going great, Mark. Just want to appreciate or just want to thank the viewers, listeners out there for giving us your most precious commodity of your time. I uh, want to thank the patrons as well, because you know what? We've kind of changed how we're doing things a little bit. So the patrons got to see some pre-production stuff going on and then oh by the way uh the show doesn't end for them so patrons you know the deal is always stand by because we've got some stuff for you guys if you're interested in becoming a member of the otr crew super easy swing about either warhog.com kellydefense.com you might see a little pop-up for the newsletters hey man feel free to join those trust me we will not inundate you with a bunch of stuff or you can sit there and swing by patreon.com forward slash on the range podcast Again, it's free to join, free to join. Now, you want access to all the goodies, then you have to look at the different tier systems what's going to work for you. But let me say this to my law enforcement officers out there, this being police week, you guys, we have special tiering for you. So you guys have a special place in our heart, um, and we want to just reciprocate back to you guys with a little special tier pricing. Uh, we know what you guys do is a dangerous job out there. Most of you aren't getting paid that well either. Um, so, yeah, it's just our way of saying thank you for what you guys are doing. And, uh, hey, come on, check out the uh, the OTR crew membership. Super easy. Proof of the stuff we got. 100-plus training videos, bi-monthly Zoom call with me and Mark, interactive with our patrons. And uh, you got questions, whatever, dude, we'll answer them. We'll get you uh, – we've even done some video diagnosis, man. So really seeing the crew – when it comes to the 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 Zoom call, man, they're taking this thing to the next level. Hey, man, check out this yeah. video. Hey, man, what about this? So, and, and that's what we enjoy doing. So, guys, appreciate it. Um, again, warhog.com, killerdefense.com, or patreon.com forward slash on the range podcast. So, I think that's yeah. all of our house. And that special, uh, that special tier pricing is good all year round. It's not just for police week, but we just wanted to yeah. get that first out of the gate with the housekeeping stuff. And, you know, they get the all access. They get everything. So it's mm -hmm. a special price. They get everything we have to offer. And like Rick said, all you got to do is hit us up. So, yeah, we just want to say a great big thank you to all of our law enforcement officers out there, all of our men and women in uniform for police week. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, festivities and then there's uh, a lot of memorials going on, remembering the fallen of the police officers that uh, we suffer every year. It's it's uh it's a tough week for some people, you know, we've been affected by that, Rick, you know, and plus mm -hmm. we have family members who are law enforcement officers. So, you know, it's important to us. So just a great big thank you. And we're going to talk a little bit about that and uh, just how much we appreciate and how much fun it is for us to, to uh, go out there and give a little back and, and try to help them be a little bit better with uh, some of the stuff that we offer. So, yeah, I know this is, um, this is a big week. I'm sure there's plenty of festivities that we're going to try to make it to and, and definitely pay attention to. But uh, yeah, just again, big thank you to all you uh, LEOs out there. Um, and that's around the world. That's not just in the United States, but uh, we love our uh, our law enforcement officers here in the United States for sure, buddy. Yeah. And, and these guys have a super tough job, right? Especially this day and age. Um, you see too many agencies trying to hang these guys out to dry. They're, they're trying to do the right thing, right? And then all of a sudden they're going to be demonized for a decision they made which they may or may not have had the training to do. Uh, they're being asked to do things, in my opinion, that's well out of their wheelhouse. And then you want to sit there and, and have DAs try to prosecute them. You want to have, um, you know, the agencies throw them under the bus, fire them, do all this other stuff. Dude, before you do anything, why don't you take a step back and look at what you're doing? Look at actually your training program. Um, and kind of with that, you know, that's where the whole Project Officer Survival piece for us came in is how do we give back to our law enforcement officers, you know, with some free firearms training, um, you know, we partnered with Jason Pickle over the, uh, the protectors podcast, got the protectors foundation, you know, so we've got a way to collect funds via a 501 C three nonprofit. And the whole intent is to make these guys a little more efficient and effective with their firearm. God forbid they're in that deadly force encounter. Um, 
next product officer survival event, June 6th and 7th down in Holt, Florida. And really it's supported by Walter, Aimpoint and Safari Land. So you're going to sit there and go, well, what do I know about red dot pistols? I don't have one. We haven't been issued. Not a problem. You know what? Cause we're going to issue you a Walter PDP pistol topped with an aim point acro and you can run a level three Safari land holster. You know, that's pretty much what guys are doing out there. We just want to make sure that people are making the best choices because you know, we've seen it too many times. We were doing that red dot instructor development course and I forget, we won't mention whatever agency it was there, but a small municipality, right? 40 guys. They got their advice on what red dot optic to get from the gun shop. No t &E conducted, no nothing. Um, and then next, you know, I think we broke two of them before lunch day one. You know? Yeah. It was early in the day for sure. Yeah. And guys, it just, it, it goes to show for my LEOs, you, you know, if you're entrusted to test and evaluate a piece of equipment, make sure you're putting it through the ringers. If you don't know how, you have no idea what to do, how this process works, reach out to us. Shoot us a note. Check it out. Warhog.com, kellydefense.com. Super easy buttons. Send us an email, and we will guide you through the process. But there is no reason this day and age that, in my opinion, you should be taking advice from the gun shop on what piece of life-saving equipment you should purchase for your agency. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great class. Um, you know, we do a lot of those things. The next one's coming up in June. Um, what are the dates again? Is it sixth? Yeah. June sixth. It, so they're one day classes. It's June sixth or June seventh down right. in Holt, Florida at the element training complex. Um, it's limited as far as, you know, how many officers per department, how many officers per day, you know, I wish I could bring 10,000 in there. I'd, we yeah. don't have, just don't have it. Right. Um, but all you've got to do is bring your ammo, an old t-shirt you can shoot eyes and ears and a belt to put your holster and mag pouches on. And dude, you're going to get a full day of training. Uh, yeah. the beauty is the beauty is with this event we're doing down in Florida. And again, this goes for my non LEOs. If you're in that Florida panhandle area, swing by, we've got vendors there. It's open to the public. We'll have live fire bays there. Uh, we'll have a mobile shoot house. You guys can run through, uh, you know, let you use force on force ammo. Um, one thing I'm pretty excited about. So marathon target, they got these basically 3d targets on four wheels. They'll have those things driving around on one of the live fire bays, you know, go pluck those things out of the water for lack of better terms. Um, grizzly targets will be down there showing off their SNS system. You know, um, Walter will be down there, aim point, safari land, bunch of other companies, but here's the beauty. we got live fire bays as well. Right. So you guys can actually come up, kind of test fire some of these things, give them a shake. Uh, ICC ammo will be bringing some ammo down. So going to be a fantastic event. And the beauty is, I think we're dubbing it the vendor village is open to the public. So <laughs> I love it. Love to see, yeah. Yeah. Love to see you guys. Uh, if you want to see me, probably catch me at lunchtime. Um, you know, have food trucks down there. So definitely, definitely a good time. So Panhandle area, Florida, June 6th or 7th. Come on down, you know, check out the vendor yeah. village. Yeah. There's a couple of things too, that I know we'd, we talked about that we want to make sure that we remind all you LEOs out there doing, doing the job, doing the right thing, keeping yourself ready, you know, all those great things that there's a lot of people out there that really do appreciate you mm -hmm. more, more than it seems for sure. And I just want to remind you of that. And it, it's easy to lose sight of that they know that you are working for them and they know that you are doing the best that you can. Even if sometimes you get those negative comments or you get those negative attitudes, they, you know, they probably had a bad day just like you do. It's, I'm not giving anybody an excuse, but I guarantee that they, when they need you, they are going to not hesitate to call you and they appreciate what you do when you get there. There's videos out there all the time. Everybody wants to focus on, you know, the, the certain things and, and critique and, and say bad things, but there's a lot of great videos. I know they do this on LinkedIn a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you starting to see a little bit more um, in the news, people starting to put some positive spins out there rather than just always the negative. You see life-saving measures that these officers, um, male and females that are taking. Um, and it, it's starting to be back to the way it was a little bit. You can start to see a glimmer of hope that these tides are turning and we got another show. We're going to talk about some other stuff about 
tides turning, but never forget that. And I know it's not an attractive idea to become a cop right now. It's just not. And the enrollment and uh, for the tests and the recruiting and all these new hires are going down. I get it, but you're out there working. We appreciate it. And a lot more people than you realize at this time, they appreciate it as well. It's not an easy job. It's not an easy job all around the board in police week is going to, you're going to remember some folks. If you're in a bigger department or department that suffered a lot of loss over the years, it's tough and it's dangerous. So again, we love all you. We love all the law enforcement officers. So we just want to make sure that you remember that sometimes. I know it's not easy. I'm not putting a burden on you, but that is the truth. Yeah. And, and, and with that, you know, here's the thing. Um, so with police week, you know, this is kind of the time that we sit there and remember those lost in the line of duty, both our human and our canine partners. Um, but I would say this guy's right. If you're kind of struggling with that and, you know, things are going hard or rough or whatever, use that loss as fuel or motivation for you to make yourself better, right? Sit there and go, am I putting the effort in to do my dry fire stuff? Am I actually doing my workout? Uh, I'm not going to lie, right? Like, I'm not a perfect guy. I woke up this morning. Did I feel like I wanted to get after it? It was all rainy, gloomy day. <sighs> dude, just get out there and start. Because once you start getting going, once the blood starts flowing, dude, it's going to kick in and you're going to get the workout done. You know, you're going to sit there and go, Rick, I don't have five minutes to dry fire. Yeah, you do. You know, I guarantee if I were to sit there and go, show me your phone, how much screen time, you know, you're watching silly cat videos or something, wasting your time when get your copy of the firearms training notebook, have a plan for what that dry fire practice is. You know, don't be like some of these guys we're seeing out there. They're becoming statistics because they're running a level three retention holster and they haven't trained. They flop that hood thinking they're going to have to use it. Next, thing you know, a scuffle happens and somebody's got your gun or you know, we talked about it before, Mark, that that one situation where old girl just snatched that pistol out of that one cop's freaking holster, right? Like she knew 100% what her intent was. It's like, dude, blink of an eye, boom, that thing was out and in her hand. It's like, man, guys, don't let your equipment be a hindrance. It's a hindrance if you're not putting the time in. But do not sit there and, and you have those retention devices Again, to retain that pistol, don't let somebody else get your gun away from you. And then that rolls into kind of the last piece. I got it. Most of the time, you know, you got to have some other partner to sit there and roll with, but you can sit there and get a bob and do some striking drills, man. Trust me, work those hand skills, you know, a couple quick left, right, bam. That'll shut some of the problems down. Understand somebody goes to grab that pistol. What's your actions? What are you doing? You know, so just, yeah. Always, always be thinking of that. And, and and again, take time to memorialize your falling. Don't get me wrong on that. But man, if you're sitting there kind of in those slumpers, you know, one of the things is, you know, we used to always say, hey, are you living your best life for those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice? So just food for thought, just Rick's opinion. Yeah. Hey, do us a favor, guys. Make sure you go to all these platforms, whatever you're listening to. If it's the audio show, make sure you like, subscribe and follow. Leave a comment. Same with all the video platforms and the socials. Make sure you follow, subscribe, hit those notification bells so you don't miss any of it. But yeah, Rick, that's a great point because you, we can't forget about what this police week is all about, right? We can't forget mm -hmm. that there's people out there who appreciate it. I want to say a thank you to all of those civilians. All of our civilians are former law enforcement, for, former military, just Americans who are out there. Every chance they get, they say, Hey, thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, thank you for what you do. All that yeah. stuff. Yeah. It means you you cannot even put into words what that means for a cop these days. Yeah. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you right now. A lot of these officers are on the younger side, so they don't remember what it was like when you were a cop and you knew grandma. You knew mm -hmm. mom, you knew everybody, you knew all the kids, you knew them all running around. They would call you asking for that officer personally, or you'd yeah. walk up and say, Hey, I heard that so and so is doing this. Those days are over. It's so, you're so far removed sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to forget the good people 
and I know you don't do it on purpose, but it's, it's just tough. You're dealing with all these problems, but every now and then when you, uh, those who are appreciative of law enforcement, you go up there and you say, Hey, thank you for your service. Hey, thank you for what you did. Or you just call and say, Hey, I saw this guy, uh, officer. Uh, he was, he looked sharp. He looked sharp. He was waving. He was saying hi to everybody. And they call the office. Those mm -hmm. things are monumentally important. So don't, yeah. don't stop doing that. Even if you get a ticket, even if you walk out and you got a ticket laying on your car because you parked in front of a fire hydrant, <laughs> but it, you didn't think it was quite, you know what I mean? It's still, it's still a human being. It's still a human being mm -hmm. and they're doing a tough job just like everybody else. You know, I refuse to, to go out of my way to be rude to somebody, but I think the older I get, the more I'm going out of my way to be nice to somebody. So just remember that it, it just means a lot to them. And, yeah. and it's a big thanks for those who are out there doing it. So we got people that drop stuff off at the stations, Rick. It's, it's incredible. They feed mm -hmm. these cops. Oh, um, yeah. just, they, they bring yeah. cards, kids bring cards. Those things are hanging all over the, the yeah. office. Trust yeah. me. And, and here's the thing, these guys, they're very humble as well. Right. So we were in, uh, in Nashville, not too long ago, eating at Martin's. If you haven't eaten there, oh. delicious, delicious. Right. Never miss I got, a chance. Yeah. I got three Nashville officers behind me and, uh, I just turned back, you know, we put the order in, uh, said, Hey, total girl stand by. I said, Hey guys, get up here, put your orders in. Right. Yeah. And, and here's the thing. They, they turned me down. They're like, Nope, we're good. Yeah. I'm like, guys, please let me buy you, you know, and buy you dinner. At least I can do. Mm -hmm. Nope. We're good. I said, okay. Okay. Y you know, but try to make the, you know, try to make the, uh, the effort, the offer, you know, but here's the funny thing. Handed some cars. Hey man, if you guys need anything, let me know. Um, I had one of the officers just shoot me a note back. Hey man, appreciate you taking the time, you know, or just offering to get us dinner. You didn't have to. Yeah. I was like, I got it. Right. It, I, I can't, I can't stress that enough, Mark. You know, you, you hit that with the old gong going, Hey man, do what you can. If it's, if you're financially capable, you know, they're standing behind yeah. you. You can grab, grab them, you know, dinner, lunch, whatever. Great. Uh, if not, Hey, just, Hey, thanks for what you're doing. Goes a long way to those guys. Cause trust me. Yeah. Uh, they're not here in a whole bunch. So no, not enough. Not you enough just gotta, should. right. For the civilian side. I mean, you have to, and I'm asking you civilians, even if you've had negative interactions with the police, well, they're not perfect. You know, there's, and there's bad apples and everything there are. Mm -hmm. However, you just have to remember that almost 75% of every action they have is going to be something that is not a positive reason for being there, or we wouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. That's just a fact. Yep. Some of them are big. Some of them are small. Some of them are small that people take as the worst thing that's ever happened to it. And maybe it is. So that's mm -hmm. where the understanding from the officer comes. But you just have to remember that those things, Rick, wartime deployments, mm -hmm. bad calls, domestic calls, those things are not easy to handle to begin with. And sometimes it just gets a lot. It gets to be a lot. So just yeah. remember that. And again, th thanks for all the cards and all the stuff that, that people leave at the stations and stuff. Those are huge. Those mm -hmm. are huge, but yeah, just re don't forget that, that that's a human being that has to deal with a lot of things all the time. That's what he signed up for. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But yeah. it's still a human being. So, yep. and last but not least, certainly, all you family members, all you family members of law enforcement, military, but, you know, for this week, you know, we're talking about the law enforcement, all you family members, thank you. Thank you for supporting the person that's in your lives, your families that are out there doing this job. It is, mm -hmm. it is crazy. Um, now that I'm recently retired, so I'm, I'm going to speak, speak about these people who are there still doing it they're doing fantastic work and it's important mm -hmm. work. And we need good people to continue to apply and become police officers. And uh, thank you for supporting them. I, I know you worry about them because buddy, we yeah. worry about them. Oh yeah. We worry about them. So thank you for, for your service and, and allowing your um, significant others, your, your parents, your kids to do this stuff. Cause it's, it's just not easy and hats off to them as well. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and on that note with the parents, here's the thing by you saying that simple, thank you to those officers. You don't think your kids are watching, you sure. know, now, now you can sit there, ah, 
screw the police, blah, blah, blah. Right? What do you think your kids are going to do? You're building a generation. Yeah. Just, hey, man, I'd rather you say nothing than say anything, right? So at least if you're not going to say thank you or give them some type of uh, affirmative talk, then just shut your mouth. Don't carry your baggage so that your kids pick it up. And then we sit there. Why do we have all these dramas down the road? Well, because yeah. they've been taught that, right? So just uh, Rick Parenting 101 for you out there. Uh, <laughs> do that act of kindness, man. Trust me. It'll, it'll make your heart feel better. Trust me. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, absolutely. So we'd be remiss if we didn't uh, make a, a mention about the firearms training notebook. It's flying off the virtual shelves, buddy. It's just flying off the shelves. People are buying yeah. it. They're loving it. It's integral part of our training that we do. So make sure you go to the websites, click that button. It'll take you to Amazon. You can have it printed. We also have some pre-sales coming up with the spiral bound edition. That's going to come up soon. We'll have some emails coming out about that, but you're not going to know, you know, what's going on with the firearms training notebook. You're not going to know what's going on with, with any of us, if you don't sign up for those newsletters, yeah, you got to sign up for those newsletters. Make sure you go to warhog.com and kellydefense.com and check it out. And also Rick already said, you can try the crew for free. You can mm -hmm. do it from the website or you can go to patreon.com forward slash on the range podcast and contact us. And we're sure that we can help you become 1% better every single day. And we're having a blast doing it. And like Rick said, the Zoom calls are great, but yeah, man, it's just a lot of fun. And it's starting to get some membership that, you know, it's it's coming along, but uh, you're not going to get all the good stuff unless you go for the all access package and law enforcement officers, you get special pricing all year round. Make sure you check it out. It's a lot of fun yeah. too. Lot and, of fun. and Mark, Mark, I got to hit on the firearms training notebook because uh, all right. we had Brian come out. So Brian's one of the patrons. He purchased one of the what spiral bounds. Oh, dude. Awesome. Right. And man, when he whipped that thing out, everyone's like, hey, where'd you get that at? Then they're asking me, hey, you got the spiral bounds? Nope. That was, hey, <laughs> that was the, the pre-sale, right? So hey, man. For, whatever, for whatever reason, Amazon does not 